Craigslist is an online community that expands throughout the world where you can post free classified ads. You can buy, sell, or trade almost anything on Craigslist, and I do mean almost anything. Once you log on to www.craigslist.com, you will need to choose your location in order to browse the website. Once you locate the listings that are closest to your area, you can begin the search process. Whether you are looking to buy, sell, trade, or barter, Craigslist is your one-stop shop. Take time and browse through craigslist.com if you are not already familiar with the site. The website is very user-friendly and has links for different categories on the homepage. Not only you can buy, sell, or trade merchandise, but you can also post services offered as well. If you're a mechanic, artist, studio engineer, model, or have any other service you can provide for a fee, then Craigslist is the best place to advertise. Not only you can click various links and browse Craigslist, but you can also search for specific items by using the search option. If you already know exactly what you are looking for, then type the keyword in the search box. For example, when I was looking to buy a leather reclining sofa for my home, I typed in the words leather, sofa, and recliner in the search box. By doing this, the system automatically retrieved every posting with the words leather, sofa, and recliner listed in the title or description. I would purchase two to five things a day and sell them within three days. Everything from washers, dryers, TVs, beds, dressers, couches, light fixtures, music gear, and computers were on my list. Having access to reliable transportation is important too. A truck is ideal, but a car will work just as well especially if you have friends or family members with trucks. There are over 60 million Craigslist users in the US alone. Craigslist gets over 50 billion pages views per month. There are more than 700 local Craigslist sites in 70 countries. Posting is very critical when it comes to getting your items sold on Craigslist. Not only how many times you post, but what's included in your description as well. It will take some time depending on how many items you have for sale, so, whether you are selling furniture, clothes, electronics, or cars, please take time to clean your stuff before you post it on Craigslist. Whenever you create a posting, the system will ask you to enter your email address. This email address can be used for communication from Craigslist. During the weekday, most people work between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. So the times you post your item is very critical. We've noticed that three good times to post are around 7 a.m., 5 p.m. and any time after 10 p.m. Your 7 a.m. posting will catch the eye of the early morning searchers who are browsing right before they go to work or while they are at work. The item you sell will determine how much money you can demand. Keep in mind, just because you paid $2,000 for the bedroom suite five years ago, doesn't mean it's still worth $2,000 today. The reason being is there are others on Craigslist who may sell the same or similar item for hundreds of dollars cheaper. Go online and do some research on your item so you can get an idea on initial listing price. You can do this by looking up your item on the internet or going on eBay or Craigslist to see how much similar items are selling for in your local area. Once you get a general idea of what your item is selling for, set your price and post it on Craigslist. If you don't get any inquires about your item within 24 hours, you can drop the price in $25 to $50 increments until the item sells. Let's put this all together with a scenario. You just bought yourself a new bedroom suite and you want to sell your old one. Instead of giving your furniture away, you decide to post your items on Craigslist to make a little money. You check all of your items out to make sure they are clean and in solid condition. You may have to clean a few pieces with furniture cleaner before you take the pictures, but this will help you get more money for your furniture. Once that is done, you organize your items in an area where you can take some clear pictures of each item. You have a queen size bed that comes with the mattress and box spring, a headboard, footboard, one dresser with mirror, and a nightstand. You take one good picture of everything together, one picture of the dresser and mirror, one picture of the nightstand, and another of the bed and mattress. 
you upload these files to your computer, and post your items in the furniture section on Craigslist. You've only had this bedroom set for three and a half years, and everything is in great shape. After looking everything over, you decide that you want to make at least $800 off the set, and you need it sold relatively quick. In this case, start out with the OBO, when listing the price. Subject. Bedroom set with light new mattress, box spring, dresser and nightstand. $1000 OBO. Description. Beautiful bedroom set, that includes a queen-size bed with headboard, footboard, frame and light new mattress with box spring. This set cost $2,000 new, three years ago, and is still in great condition. Dresser is huge with plenty of drawers, and the nightstand is in great shape as well. No scratches or chips on the furniture, and the mattress is firm and clean. Asking $1,000 OBO if interested call. Things to remember. Posting is very critical when it comes to getting your items sold on Craigslist. Not only how many times you post, but what's included in your posting's description as well. Take time to clean your items, before posting them on Craigslist. This way you can demand a higher price for your merchandise post, and post again, until the item is sold. A good posting should consist of quality pictures, and a well-organized description of your item. Set up additional email accounts for posting purposes. The more you post the more likely your item will sell. If you're not sure how much to sell your item for, use the OBO or best offer clause in your posting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click subscribe button or hit the notification bell.